Good morning guys. So we're out uh, at another spot, same place I've been the past two days. Uh, two days ago I struck two turkeys up out here just basically by getting lucky. Yesterday we got on him, just wasn't able to close the deal. So me and Michael are going to dive back in here today. We got a ridge that runs down into a creek, really, really steep. On the other side of that creek is a real flat ridge that backs up to the lake out here. So what we're doing, we're gonna get down to the point, the tip of this ridge going down to the creek and sit there and listen. Um, he's probably not 350, 400 yards in there. So we're just gonna creep down here being quiet, get as close as we can and uh, see if this sucker gobbles and see if we can't make it happen. Y'all stay tuned.
Dude, I didn't see him until he was like right there. We can <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at the spurs on that turkey. <laughs> Dude, we got him, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's about as good what, as it gets. What killed that turkey? <laughs> Patience. <laughs> boy, look at him hooks. Oh boy, I've been on you for two days. Hey, what did, did so you seen him? He came. Quick. I saw him right there. <coughs> we had to have been super close to him. Oh, dude, he was rooted right in here. He never got on the roof. Not one. Uh, not one time. Dude, you hear his rattle in his chest when he got it right here? Well, I heard him drumming, but I couldn't. <laughs> Boy, look at you! <laughs> God! God! You killed a dinosaur. That's an old turkey. He's small, though. He is little. Probably weighs 18 pounds. Somewhere around there. Dude, that is a little turkey. That is a little turkey. We're hooks. We're hooks, baby. What them hooks do? <laughs> oh, boy, give me some. Turkey and Cody is right there. I'm going to zoom up on you. He never had a clue. You can't see my chair, but see how hidden Cody is? About 35, 36 steps. All right, guys, we're sitting here reminiscing a little bit. So I was sitting right here, and well, you can't see it, but this chair, Cody was sit, sitting right there. And the turkey gobbled on. He never gobbled on the roost, did did he? No, no I never, I never heard him on the roost. roost. So we just, like I said, he'd been hunting in here for what two days? Two days. So we just sat down, and he started gobbling on his own about. What, 6.30? 6.30. He gobbled roughly. once and then twice, and he was close. So, Cody did his homework, and we got right in here on top of him where we thought he was. And what would you call to him one time? One time, hammered. Then we had a little bird go off and hammered, and boy, we heard that rattling in his chest. And I was like, ooh, he's close. So he I, was game. I ditched, I had my tripod, but I ditched it and put it on, put it on my hand, you know, just in my hand. like. And uh, Cody was saying he seen him, and I couldn't, I couldn't quite see him yet. Man, it down down here in these Mississippi woods, it's thick. You know, you, you can see the the undergrowth. A lot of these times in the woods, they'll come through this national forest and and burn. You know, to keep to keep that undergrowth down. But today, it, it it led to our advantage because this turkey, he, I mean, he was so close, he he just couldn't see. So he had to come to where he could see. And luckily, I, I saw him, and we were in the right spot. Hey, I give all credit to Michael because if it was me, I wouldn't have been as patient. And Michael called it. Hey, we need to we need to sit right here. This is his this is his zone. So we sat down, got comfortable, took our time, stayed patient, and I'll be dang if call, ten minutes later called to him he, one time, and that's and he and, gobbled on his own that one time to some geese out here on the lake behind us, and we I thought he was over there. Michael thought he was in the opposite direction, so we're kind of confused. You know, hey, it's, it's turkey hunting. We got a lot of bombs down here, so you can't really tell. You know, and then uh we heard him gobble one more time which let us know exactly where he was we called to him one time he answered that call right off the bat and then we had another bird go off real loud and he i mean he hammered you could hear it rattling in his chest and by that time we knew exactly where he was started looking in that direction and i saw him coming through there 
and I lost him for a second. Then I saw him again, and at that point, he had stuck his head up, did that telescope thing. Got me nervous, thinking he saw me, and I had one clear lane. And Michael said, kill him. And there he is. Limb hanger, baby. Look at that. No rope for, uh, or string required on that one. What them hooks gonna be? Anyway, so it was like a, about a 35 yard shot. Right? Yeah, about 35 yards. You know, through some thick stuff, but hey, this, this TSS is a game changer. TSS is a game changer. But uh, guys, we, we appreciate having you guys with us so much. You know, it's been a, it's been a long grind getting to this point. You know, starting deer season of last year, putting a lot of time, a lot of hot days, and just was pretty much unsuccessful. You know, thought, thought, thought we had it figured out, you know, and just, it was, uh, it was a long season. It's been a long turkey season, you know, and then it had just happened to come out here two days ago and got lucky, honestly, and called down into here and, and two of them struck up. Coming here yesterday and had him at about 100 yards, which you guys will see in our other video. And then today, you know, hey, three strikes, you're out, Joker. And that's why he's hanging on that limb. But uh, guys, give us a like, subscribe to us. We are new. Look, we're trying to grow. We want to keep bringing this stuff to you guys. We hunt hard. And, and we want you guys to be able to enjoy this and, and do what we do. And hey, what we're doing right now, anybody can come out here and do this. I mean, this is all public land. This is tens of thousands of acres for anybody to come out here and enjoy and do this. So take advantage of it. Get some free time. Go out in the woods. Go hunting. I promise you it'll help that soul and make you a lot happier. And hey, maybe you come out here and and get one of them limb hangers. Well, I'm stuck. I can't. I couldn't be more happy right now. I just want to run around this bottom, boy. <laughs> All right. We clocking out. We'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you for watching. What a morning, guys. Just gotta, you know. This uh, experience is like this in the woods for me. It takes all, all the all the bad things in the world and, and does away with them for me. I mean, coming out here and, you know, like I, like I said, you know, it's been such, such a tough season. The turkeys have been acting crazy, not wanting to gobble. But I knew that I needed to change areas from where I was at. And just decided, decided to come down here on a wild hair one day talk myself into it and just happen to happen to find them you know but uh I, I'm speechless guys I mean I, I'm, I'm really speechless I apologize but it's so surreal and such a feeling of accomplishment when you put in so much work just to just to have an opportunity at one of these these awesome birds but Today was our day, and it wasn't his. But we sure appreciate him. You know, couldn't have been killed by by anyone who who respects this bird any more than I do. I mean, just awesome turkey, awesome turkey, awesome hunt. I do it with my best friend, my cousin. You know, we uh, we work hard to get this content. You know, work very hard. And it's a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of hours that go into it, but we're on the board now, baby. <laughs>